Are you suffering from weak gluteal muscles with difficulty activating those muscles during your squats, lunges, deadlifts, and instead you're feeling the soreness and tightness on your hamstrings and quadriceps the next day? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, I'll show you some five simple must-haves exercises to warm up to start before proceeding to those higher effect exercises that requires a lot of engagement on your glutes. And if you are suffering from dead bud syndrome, which is weakness and amnesia on your glutes because of prolonged sitting lifestyle, then this video is just for you. Utilizing an elastic band to finally engage those muscles, yoga to strengthen the end, and physical therapy, mind-body awareness to finally wake up those weak and sleeping muscles. So get your mat ready and join me. If you are new to my channel and want to learn more about dead bud syndrome, you can watch the playlist on my description below or up here in the info card. So dead bud syndrome is a serious phenomenon happening all over the world because of technology, sitting, posture, lifestyle, and it causes havoc of low back pain, tightness on the hips, and pain usually in one side. And if you're suffering from this and you try to do squats, lifting heavy weights in the gym, and you don't get results, and your butt muscles are still flat and weak, and you don't feel any change on your gluteal muscles, maybe because you're utilizing your quadriceps or your hamstrings to your squats, lunges, because of years of sitting and you decided to start running or high impact activities like jumping activities, without the gluteal muscles activation, you're just compensating and your joints will be sore and you're gonna have some inflammation, usually in the insertion of the gluteal muscles near the greater trochanter, and you can palpate it and feel it on the outside of your hips. And if you want to learn more about it, as I said, click the link description below and learn more about Pilates Yoga and Physical Therapy Health and Wellness. You can subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. You can also like and share this video so you are supporting my channel. If you have any questions regarding this video, leave a comment down below. And if you want me to do a follow along video, I could do another part two regarding dead butt syndrome progression with dumbbells if you would like and kettlebell so let's proceed with the program get any elastic band if you don't have elastic band you can still join me and really feel the activation of your glutes by utilizing some pilates mind body awareness with breath work and gentle visual and verbal cueing and tactile cueing by gently tapping your glutes to finally wake them up great for beginners if you don't have elastic band, but if you really want to engage them, elastic band will help you mind-body awareness so that you can finally engage those weak and tight glutes muscles from prolonged sitting posture. So let's begin now. Place the elastic band around your thighs near the knee area. You're going to lie on your back. Lying on your back will help you really feel your muscle engagement first against gravity. With your toes pointing out, you're gonna externally rotate a little bit of your hips. Gentle pressure around your knees, so you're gonna do a gentle hip opening. Place your hands on your side. Mind body awareness, tighten your buttocks as tight as you can. Imagine if there's a penny between your buttocks, your butt crack, and you don't wanna drop the penny off the butt. As you slowly lift it up, hip thrust to a bridge. Squeeze your buttocks, try not to hyperextend your back so you're not hurting your spine. And if you hyperextend, you're gonna utilize your lumbar spine muscles instead of your glutes. So lift, and my recommendation as you lift, you wanna inhale through your nose, squeeze your core in, squeeze your glutes, push your knee out gently, external rotate your toes, and squeeze as hard as you can for five deep breaths. But if it's too long, even 10 seconds hold. The longer the isometric will help really isolate those muscles. And most of my patients will feel, feel this bridge on their quadriceps or hamstrings. So if you wanna challenge your glutes more, you can place your foot out further at the edge of the mat. The further it is, the more you're gonna feel it on your glutes, but sometimes it's still on the hamstrings and you really have to be patient and you can tap your glutes 
to wake them up and squeeze, squeeze and tap, and then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time as you breathe out through your mouth. Inhale through your nose and lift again. Squeeze your glutes. Tap if you need to wake them up. Don't hyperextend your spine. Push your knee out to activate them. And hold that for 10 seconds. Hold for absolute beginners. And if you can't even lift your glutes, even you're just a little bit on this level halfway through, that's fine. And it takes time to really lift. If you're having back pain, you are utilizing your lumbar spine. So you really wanna make sure before you lift, you squeeze your glutes first. And my recommendation is 10 repetitions, up to three sets to really warm up before you go proceed to the next exercise. So after that beautiful bridge, hold it there. The second must have is to isolate further by doing gentle heel raises. With that hold, you're gonna lift your heels up. When you activate your calves muscles, your glutes will work harder. And do that 10 repetitions up to three sets. Well done. After that lovely bridging, clamshell is one of my favorites because it's great for beginners. Making sure your knees are a little bit 45 degree angle towards your hips, feet together, knees together, hand in front of you, the top hand, so you will not lean back. With your hands on your hips, you might slowly turn back and twist your spine. You want to make sure you isolate your glutes. Tap gently, place one hand in front of you, lift the top knee, hold that for 10 seconds, hold, keeping your feet together, squeeze your core in to activate your core muscles, lumbar pelvic girdle, tap to wake up the glutes and hold it for 10 seconds hold and then exhale down do that 10 repetitions 10 seconds hold three sets of 10 to really build the strength of the glutes muscles the max medius and minus and after doing that three sets of 10 the third that's the third exercise must have the fourth you place this around your ankles the ankle band still knee bend 45 degree angle and this time reverse clam you want to make sure you place it on your ankle to really target your other side of your glutes you're targeting your medius a little bit more as you lift hold it for 10 seconds hold tap to wake them up 10 seconds hold up to 10 reps if you can slowly build up to two sets and then three sets and the last one is parallel clamshell with your knees bent to 90 degrees, feet together, knees together, place one hand in front and lift, knee and foot level together and down, inhale, exhale. If you can't hold it for three seconds because this is a little bit more progression from the first other clams, then just do this up and down until you can really tolerate 10 seconds hold. So those are my five must-haves Pilates exercises with elastic band. You can also add some standing progression. So when you do standing, it's a little bit much more difficult with your own body weight. So in standing position with your knees slightly bent, remember the clamshell that we did earlier. So a great way with your knees slightly bent, keeping your spine straight, you're gonna do some side to side steps to warm up before you do your gym workout. So step side to side, warm up. This is the standing clamshell almost. Yes, side to side. And then you can also do a gentle pulse, pushing your knee out, warming up your glutes, tap your glutes muscles. So if you do side view, pulse, 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 push your knee out. And you're gonna really feel the burn. If you're gonna feel it more in your quads, then this is too advanced for you. You are still dominating through your quads and it really takes time. Half squats until you can go further down for a deeper squat, hip and knee parallel. And once you reach all the way down, you can hold on to something supportive like a, a table or a pole down and then pulse push your knee out, like pulsing it to really activate your roots. So it's like an isometric with a gentle pulse. 10 times and that's the, the next progression. Four, you start 
doing those lovely exercises in the gym before you added weight on the bar or else you're gonna injure your spine, your joints, and your hips. Another way to warm up your hips is to do gentle lunges, even tapping your knee all the way down for beginners, making sure you have a pillow to support your kneecap, and then up. You can also use your hand to get yourself up. If you need support on the table, and do it in both sides 10 times. And after those lovely standing lunges, and, and deep squats and side steps. Two more exercises in standing must-haves before you proceed to the gym is to do side-to-side -side lunge. With your knee bent slightly, tap your right glutes, tap, tap your left. So these are the next, the fourth must-haves in standing. So I gave you the lying down and now standing. The elastic band helps activate as well. Tap, 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 and hold it for 10 seconds. Hold for those who want to challenge and progress further with the tap on your butt. I know, it's really hard to activate it if you've been sitting a lot all day, right? And then the last mass halves in standing, we're gonna do some hip extension. So hip extension, standing on one leg, you're gonna lift your leg up. Gently lift, activate your glutes. So it's hard to balance for those with weak hips. Hold on into something stable and lift. Do it 10 times each leg. Lift, activate your glutes. So I gave you two types of must-haves as we progress. The lying down and then the one in standing. And then you are ready to go to do your squats, lunges, deadlifts. In the gym, always start no weight. Proper form is key. And if you want me to do a video on how to do proper lifting in the gym, let me know, leave a comment down below, and I'll do another video in a separate content for the future. If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, and physical therapy, health, and wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything, like and share this video. And if you need my guidance, if you're suffering from back pain with weak core, poor posture, with low back pain, click the link down below and be part of my early bird waitlist as I reopen my back masterclass this October 1st for first come, first serve basis. If you want to be part of this, click the link down below and I will help you reach all your goals to have a stronger core, improve posture, and regain life without back pain. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below or direct message me on my social media and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. See you on my next video training. Bye!